Hello, I'm Graham Bray from Easier Internet Marketing and welcome to this video on how to record and upload an audio file. Now in a previous video I described how we need to build a list of prospective customers by encouraging them to leave their details using an opt-in form. In return for the details we provide them with a free gift. This could be an ebook or newsletter or anything from the assortment shown here. Our focus this video is on audio, audio recording. Let me outline what I hope to achieve. Firstly, I'll be making an audio recording using a free bit of software called Audacity. I'll then be showing you how to save recording as an MP3 file. Now Audacity doesn't do this directly, so I'll show you how an encoder can be used to do necessary conversion. The next stage is to get the audio file onto our blog or website. For this we need to use an FTP program. I covered FTP in a previous video. Use the link here to access that video. The final piece of jigsaw would be to use links on my site to access the audio recording. Phew! Sounds like a lot to do, so we better get started. OK, so here we are in Audacity, our audio recording bit of software. This is a free software, so just download it and you'll see the screen as we've got here. Very, very simple operation. When you're ready to record, your microphone is plugged in, simply click on the red button here, the record button, and start recording. You'll see all the trace coming out here. Now what I'm going to do now is to um, do a recording of an article that I wrote a few months ago, and um, I'll come back to you when I finish doing the recording. So see you in a few moments. OK, I've now made the recording, as you can see here. Next stage is to save this as MP3 file. So let's go up now to File, Export as MP3. I'm going to call this one Audio 5. OK, MP3, that's fine to save. OK. And there we are. Now it's exporting the entire project as MP3 very, very shortly, be on my system, and we can move on from there. OK, export now complete. It's worth mentioning at this point that when you first use Audacity, it doesn't automatically save your file as MP3. You have to go through a little process, and I'll show you that process now. Use the link shown here to take you to the what's called MP3 encoder download. So click on that link and it will take you to this page here. So how do I download and install the lame MP3 encoder? And you've got the instructions here. To follow these instructions, follow them carefully, and you'll end up with um, a little bit of software that enable you to encode um, Audacity to save your file as MP3. It's also important, it says lower down here, that's important that when you first use the file to show Audacity where to navigate to. And for example, what I've got on the screen now is the uh, the file pathway I show for mine. The next stage in this whole process is to use our FTP program or our software to upload the audio file to our site. Now I use FileZilla. Um, I've covered this in um, another video, so if you want more details, I suggest you go to that video. But I want to log on now, so Site Manager, um, Connect, and you can see there it's connecting to the internet. Come down, remember this, we look for now for our public HTML file, that one there, and then in this we're looking for easierinternetmarketing.com, that's that one there, so click on that. And here you can see um, the files I've already got on my easier internet marketing site. Now what I want to do is to take the recording we just made, which remember was audio 5, so we're going to click on this one and drag it across to this side, let go and you can see now at the bottom there it's now uploading. I'm going to pause this video now and come back to you when it's finished. OK, the label here at the bottom tells me that we've successfully transferred it, let's just check down that it has been transferred and there it is. Okay, So what we've now done is we've used our FTP software to um, upload the file from our own directory up to the internet. 
The next and final stage is I'm going to put the audio recording onto a website and I'll show you now how I can create a link for that. OK, I'll see you in a moment. Now I use WordPress for my blog. I want to show you here is how I would upload the audio file onto my blog site. So first of all, let's just log into the, um, the dashboard. Okay, and what we're going to be doing here is adding a new link. Um, if you're familiar with um, WordPress, you recognise these on the side. So going down, I can add a new link here. So the name I'm going to give it is a name as it appears in the blog, and to give it its complete heading. It's a realistic time scale for would be internet marketers. A bit of a mouthful, let's just check the spelling. A realistic time scale for would be internet marketers. Sounds good to me. Next one, web address. Um, this is where it'll be found on my site. So it's simply http and the www dot easier internet marketing dot com slash now this one was audio five dot mp three that's the full um, URL there description um, this is what is shown when people hover over the link I'm going to keep it simple keep it as um, audio number five and where do I want it well I want to put it into a category for audio recordings so tick the audio recording box there okay and then add the link and there we go link has now been added so what we'll now do last little bit just check this we'll log out of here and go to my easyinternetmarketing.com site Now, on the right-hand side of my site is where I've got all my recordings. Okay, audio recordings. And what have we got? Just refresh this. Audio recordings, and we've got their realistic timescale for would-be internet marketers. So click on that, and they allow you there to download it. Okay, so we've now got this uploaded to our site, and anybody who wants to can save this as an MP3 file and listen to it at their leisure. Okay, let's just check on the, the progress we made. Um, I've shown you how to record your audio presentation using Audacity, and I've shown you how to get the MP3 encoder. Um, we've saved our file in MP3 format. I've shown you how to use FileZilla to upload your audio file to your site. And lastly, I've been onto my site and I've shown you how to hyperlink audio file for use by others. Well, I hope that's um, been informative to you. I hope it makes uh, uploading your audio files seem a bit easier. If you've got any questions, then please don't be afraid to visit my site at www.easierintermarketing.com. Um, leave me a question or leave me a comment on the contact page. And uh, also, I'll I would welcome your feedback as to um, my videos, how they can be improved, or things you'd like to see. Anyway, I'm Graham Bray, um, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.